Hello, I'm Molly Caron, and I'm here with Jim Wong Chu, historian, activist, writer, and one of the founding members of the Asian Van Canadian Writers Workshop. And you're recently, your sorry, your photos from long ago are being put into an ex photo exhibit mm -hmm. at the Center A Gallery at 229 East Georgia. Yeah. And tell tell me why you've. Um, moved from being a photographer to a writer and the difference be yeah. between those two mediums? Well, you see, I wasn't good at anything. I went to, I went to school and then, of course, I, uh, because I moved around and never got a chance to graduate, uh, even from high school. So I wanted to go back to school and I wasn't good at anything, so I went to art school. And art school, I wasn't good at drawing, so I ended up in photography. So that's how it started. And I was good at f photography because, uh, you know, in the dark room you cook. You know, you have to kind of make sure that the photograph comes out and, uh, you know, and it had to be just right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I had some experience working in cafes, so I knew, you know, in Chinese, Chinese cafes, so therefore I knew how to cook. So that's how photography came into being. But at that time, um, um, I was really into this whole thing about identity. I wanted to learn about myself as a Chinese Canadian. That's why I spent time in Chinatown. Mm -hmm. And since I had a, had a camera, I start taking photographs. So you took photos from 1975 to 1981. Yeah, right. yeah. A lot happened in that time. And I'm wondering if you can describe Chinatown for us then. Well, Chinatown in the 60s and 70s and, uh, and so on were really heady times. Um, everybody goes down to Chinatown. Every weekend, the place is packed six deep on the sidewalks. You can barely walk on the sidewalks. If you found a parking space anywhere in four square blocks of Chinatown, you were, you were just so lucky. You know, that's how Chinatown was. All the best restaurants, all the best of anything. Bustling and lively. It was lively. And it was political. Your, your exhibit is called People, Places and Politics. And I'm interested in the, uh, the political moments that you captured. I know one of them was about the barbecue pork protest. Yes. That's interesting. Yeah, the um, uh, you know, and this is so interesting because um, I didn't really pay much attention to these photographs until recently when somebody helped me digitize the negatives, and all of a sudden I saw, wow, I have all these photographs. And because those times these things just happened, there were like big protests and big signs, and I just took the photographs. And it's only years later I realized how important they are. Mm -hmm. And the barbecue pork protest was so interesting because uh, the city uh, health department just came down with a whole bunch of health inspectors with these thermometers and took temperatures of all the barbecue pork uh, that was displayed and shut them all down. And holy cow, I mean, these people would be eating barbecue pork for like 3,000 years. I mean, you know, if, they, if they've been uh, food poisoned, I mean, you know, people would have figured it out a long time ago. It's too bad Canadian laws don't have the cultural sensitivities that we should have for, for paying attention to that. Oh, yeah. It, w it became very racialized. Uh, yeah. The Chinatown merchants fought it all the way to Ottawa to get the, the rules changed. Wow. Yeah, it was very momentous. So, but for me to actually capture a few of the photographs of that moment was amazing. That's awesome. And I'm also very interested in the photos that you took when they were building the highway between oh, the freeway. Yeah. Yeah, the the conduit between Quebec and Columbia. Yeah. Is that what they stopped at just doing the overpass, the Georgia Viaduct? Well, what actually happened was that there was a whole, uh, between the late 50s and early 60s, there was a whole process of urban renewal. City Hall actually was going to tear down, expropriate and tear down the entire Strathcona area. I mean, we're talking about like, you know, talk about 20 square blocks mm -hmm. and make that all into low income housing and kick out all the Chinese. That was where it was going. It was actually quite horrendous. And the freeway was part of the process of this urban renewal. The freeway actually was, they were going to take Prior Street, make that into an eight lane thoroughway. So all Prior Street would have been gone. And it would have gone all the way down and it curved around where right now the Chinese Cultural Center and the Sanitation Gardens were. Mm -hmm. That would have been one part of the freeway. The Chinese Cultural Center and, and the Sanitation Garden would have never happened. Wow. So that's how serious it was. And it was the time when huge protests happened. And uh, what I captured was this uh, of these people in bust uh, uh, with protest cards going to City Hall 
for this big hearing. And it was during that time that Michael Har Harcourt, who was at that time just a young lawyer, you know, in legal aid, mm -hmm. and Dar Darlene Masari and, and uh, um, Margaret Mitchell, these are when they got started. And they eventually, with Art Phillips, uh, um, they formed team and they took over City Hall and they stopped everything. So it's very, very important history. Public engagement, alive and well. It's, it's funny how it's changed, but the photography has captured this in a way that words, you, you, you can't, I guess words can't really capture the mood or the uh, tone, anger, and you've done that with these photos. Yeah. And you appreciate it now, you didn't then. Yeah, well I think, I think I was, I still figure I was a pretty decent photographer at that time, but I think, um, you know, the historical intensity yeah. And the visual, the, there's nothing like it, you know. Mm -hmm. Without it, I don't think that it would bring back this, that same kind of immediate memory. So we can all enjoy your photos in the next, in the weeks to come, at the Center A Gallery at 229 East Georgia, and it's called People, Places, and Politics. Yes, and it starts from September 25th, and it'll go to October 18th. So there, you got four weeks uh, from Good. September 25th onwards. Well, thank you very much, Jim, Jim Wong Chu, for telling us about this festival or this photo exhibit. And thank you for watching Access Television. <laughs>